Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. It's time for another Makeup Declutter. And these are all of my cheap products. And there's a lot of them. There are like two stacks. There's like, you know, one here, another here. Let's get into it. I'm starting with blushes today. This is one of my acrylic organizer drawers um, that is full of some of my favorite. And then I see some in here, I'm like, wait, I forgot I had that. So let's go through, I'm not gonna do any swatches today. I'm gonna try and remember not to do any swatches today. And just like on instinct decide, yes, no, yes, no. What have I used, what I have not used? What is worth keeping? What am I not gonna keep anymore? And try and be brutal. I have a little bin right off camera here where I'm gonna be putting all the things that I'm not keeping. And oh my goodness, first thing I know I'm gonna get rid of is this. This is the Profusion Blush Hour. You know, this is actually a really nice product. It's one of those cushion products. It's $5 at the drugstore. I just never use this shade. I also was a little bit confused because the shade is called Rose, but it's very peach. And I have not been loving a peach blush right now, so I'm gonna let this go. Another one that I feel like I should have been using more and I just haven't is the NYX Wonder Stick. This is one of those products that I feel like the formula is really nice. And the shades that I have here are actually really good. Um, I have Coral and Deep Peach and, you know, a little blush stick, two shades, double-ended, really great. But this is just not one of those that I have been using as much as I would like to. And because I have two bins full, I got to be brutal. So goodbye, NYX. This is gonna be hard. These are the Natasha Denona Puff Paints. These are, I feel like a product that although they're really lovely, um, you don't get a ton in here, which is good because you don't need a lot. Um, but I feel like they're, they just have been sitting. Um, this one is in bloom, this one is in tan, and I don't know what shade this is because they didn't actually print the names on any of the packaging, and that to me is like not a smart thing to do. I just happen to remember two of the names, and this last one here, I think it's Dara or Daria, I don't remember, um, but this is the one that I probably use the most, like these two together. I really love this bloom shade, but I feel like it's a little too extreme. I really like this tan shade. I feel like it's more unique out of all of them. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this one and these guys are gonna get decluttered. Here's another one that I wanted to love and I just can't get to work for me. This is the Serum Color Drops from M Cosmetics. This is the original formula in the original packaging because just at the tail end of 2022, they repackaged and reformulated. I do feel like this product right here in, um, I think this is what, Cherry Splash. They don't make this shade anymore. I really like this red color, but the problem this foundation had for me was that it's very, it's very emollient. And if I am wearing any concealer, any foundation, anything at all, this tends to pick the product up. I also don't like the dropper mechanism in here, so this is gonna go. I think I'm gonna hang on to this. This is the shade Soft Amethyst. I do feel like the formulation difference um, works better for me, and I have changed the way that I apply it. At, at first, when I got it, I was like, uh, nope, not working, because I had the same problems I did with the other one. This one is slightly less emollient. I do like this kind of pinch dropper better, and I feel like if I use the right tool to apply it, it's really, really pretty. And I am more into these kind of soft, kind of mauve shades these days, so this is gonna stay in my collection. Another one I know I really like <laughs> is this. This is from Kaja. <clears throat> it's a cushion blush, but it comes with this kind of cute little stamp so you could, you know, stamp it on. I said I wasn't gonna do any swatching, um, but it was more to demonstrate, but it, it, you can stamp it on. I actually like it best when I just stick my finger or a sponge or brush in the actual cushion portion of it. This is a really pretty color. This one, by the way, is number two saucy. I like the formula, I like the color. I'm gonna hang on to this. All right, here's one that I'm kind of on the fence about. Not because the formula is not great, but because it's so intense. And this is one of those because this formula, this soft pinch liquid blush from Rare is so like full pigment. If you're not careful, it can be too much. Um, I have the one in Encourage. I'm gonna hang on to this for now, but I need to remind myself to reach for this more. 
here is a favorite. This is the Ritual Defeat Color Nectar Pigment Balm. This is the shade Blood Flower. It looks kind of dark and burgundy in the pan, but it comes off like a bright red. I love this. You can see it has a pretty serious divot in it. I love it on the cheeks. I especially love it on the lips for a monochromatic look. Love, not going anywhere. Here's another product that I think is really fantastic. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss. Um, I have the shade Nude Kiss. This is kind of like the kind of more middle of the road, beigey nudes of them. It runs a little bit on the peachy side, but it's so pretty and so natural. And if you're looking for a cream cheek product from the drugstore, this is my favorite. This one is really nice. I'm hanging on to this. I feel like these formulas are really quite similar, but I get a little bit longer wear from the cloud paint. Um, I've had this one for such a long time. They don't even make these little Glossier stickers anymore, but um, love, love, love. I am going to be hanging on to this. This is the shade Beam. And uh, this uh, flush balm or blush balm from Flower is really pretty. This is the shade Pinched, but I haven't reached for this in forever. Here's where I'm wondering, do I keep the, I know I'm keeping this. I'm gonna put this over here with the yeses. Am I gonna keep this? Or should I just let it go? It's a really, I don't know, I feel like at this point I need to know what the color looks like. It's a very nude color. And I like that it is rather on the, you know, eh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm not in love with this. I feel like the formula is great and the shade is really pretty, but it's a little, it's hard to see it here, but it does lean just a hair warmer than I want to go. I either want to go like really bright like this and this one is, no, okay, we're gonna let this one go. I really like this cream blush from Victoria Beckham. Um, this one is the Cheeky Flush, and I have the shade Playground. It's a really pretty kind of terracotta nude, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous. The formula is nice. I like the wear that I get from it. I'm hanging on to this. Here's one that is new to me. This is the new Yummy Skin um, Blush, the Flush um, product. It's very similar to her Blurring Balm. Um, I like this. This is great. This is the shade Golden Hour. It is, okay, the camera and the lighting is changing the color. It looks orange, but in person, it's more like a vibrant tangerine with a hint of coral to it. I love this. This is staying. Um, another new product that I'm really enjoying right now is the Matte Beauty Blush Wand from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. This isn't going anywhere. Oh, love. Okay, so this is from Beauty Pie. This is their Super Cheek Cream in the shade French Raspberry. Oh, love. Now, it looks like I've hardly used it, but I use this so much. It's just that it's, there's like a lot in here. You need very, very little. If you like that in from the cold look or that cold girl look, this is perfect for that. Love, love, love. This is staying. I have two of the So Soft blushes from M. I love this formula. This is so good. So this one right here is Venetian Rose, and I also have the shade Bitten. And as you can see, one is more red, one is more kind of mauve toned. I love them both. They're both staying. And I feel like I need to use Bitten more. It's one of those that because it is much probably better suited to people with a deeper skin tone than me, but if I use it judiciously and carefully, this is my favorite cream formula out of everything I have because it dries to a powder finish. Um, it's very, very easy to build. It never pulls anything up underneath. It doesn't disturb what you have down already. And it blends with no effort. Love, love, love. These are probably like top of the line when it comes to favorite cream products. If you haven't tried this, it's definitely worth your time. I picked up this trio of cream blushes during the holidays from LYS. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the, the printing on the packaging is, you know, coming off, <laughs> especially on this one here. Um, there is only one of these shades, and I'm not sure which one is in their regular collection. And um, the rest of these cream blushes were shades specifically for the holidays. So this one's in power. This one is unforgettable. And this one here is grateful. And I'm not sure which one is like that we always have it in. This is the one shade that I actually find myself wearing. I'm gonna keep that one. These are two that I just don't feel, I don't know whether it's that they don't look good on me or I didn't try them enough. This one feels really deep and kind of gotta be careful with it. And I'm not really loving a peach blush at the moment. So I'm gonna let both of these go. Gotta talk about the weird packaging here. These are not the original packaging 
for these products. These are all Lisa Eldridge Enlivening Blushes. I have three shades, um, and the problem that I had was that the packaging failed. Um, it's a little tube like this, and the packaging failed right here, the crimp failed, and then also where the nozzle, which was a little bit more like the one from um, Flower Beauty, where it attached right here, there was product coming out there as well. So those tubes have been long gone, but I did end up squeezing them into other containers. I have uh, two little, they used to be ColourPop um, gel liners, and this is Venetian Red. This is probably my favorite and my most used. Um, I. I love, love, love this product. My understanding is, is that Lisa is repackaging these and they're coming out sometime, I think maybe for summer this year. So until that point, I'm gonna hang on to these guys. Um, I just think it's a fabulous formula, but the packaging was epically terrible. Um, this is probably one when I first got it that I used the most. This one's called Dante's Dream. It's definitely um, more of a terracotta, almost nude shade. But what's great about these is even though they're not in their original packaging anymore, they're still really beautiful texture wise and they blend so easily. I love this. Um, I would repurchase Dante's Dream and Venetian Red. I don't know if she's going to be coming out with more shades. The other one that I have is probably one I probably wouldn't get again. And it's a really pretty coral shade called Island Glow. And I think it's mainly just that I'm not loving a really peachy um, blush at the moment. And who knows, I might get back to that. So I'm going to hang on to these guys for now. But these two are Island Glow, Venetian Red, and Dante's Dream. But... I, I really hope the packaging gets solved. I've had this Melt Blush Lights for a long time. It's really pretty. Uh, this is the shade Polish. It's kind of like highlight and cream blush, but I haven't used it. So I think I can put this in my discard pile. Uh, this is one that I've been on the fence about, and I think maybe I need to try a different way of applying it. I've heard so many people love it. This is the Flush Balm in Cheeky from Merit. I don't like the packaging because this sort of a, it kind of leads you to kind of just like want to swipe it on. And I find that this formula is too emollient. When I do that over foundation, even unset foundation concealer, this picks up product underneath. So what I need to do is either start picking it up with my fingers and tapping it on or using a brush to do that. So I'm going to give this another go. This was kind of like a no for me when I first tried it, but I'm going to try applying it differently. Um, I have really liked this shade in particular and this formula from Fenty. This is the shade Strawberry Drip. That's probably the best way to look at it. Um, but this is a really nice cream formula and a really fun, bright shade for spring and summer. I'm going to hang on to this. This was part of this year's Lucky Bag. This is from Mob Beauty. This is their Cream Clay Blush. And this is a really pretty shade, but I I don't, I don't know. My favorite thing about this is that it's refillable. So even if I don't really know that this shade is for me, I would find a way to put this in a separate container and keep the compact because I think that the formula is nice. It's a little bit harder to blend than some of my other ones, but it has good longevity. Um, I'm going to hang on to this for now, keep playing with it. I haven't had it that long, but... I don't know that this would go through a second blush declutter. This was the Sephora birthday gift this year. This is the Ilia Multitasker. This is the shade At Last. You know what? I've used it once. I don't really love it. I think I can put this in the discard. I think the formula is nice. I just don't think, I've had two of these. This is the second one. First one, wrong color. This one also wrong color. And they both came in like sets. So I don't know if the product itself is bad. I'm just not getting shades that I find usable. So I'm gonna put this in the discard. I have really liked this, but I find that I haven't been using it. I don't know. This is the cream blush from Rose Ink. Of course, she looks like a little toilet seat. Um, another one of those that is reusable. You can use a pin, push it out through the back. This is the shade Azalea. I think I'm gonna hang on to it for now, but yeah. And this is my last item in here. I got this last spring. This is the Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette from Danessa Myricks. I need to use this more. I think this has kind of been on break because it's very glowy. You can see that there's a lot of sheen to this product. Um, but I feel like it maybe now that spring and summer are coming back around, maybe it's time to pull this out again. I think this is a really pretty product, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep trying this. So I'm getting rid of 10 and I'm keeping 22. I think I need to do better. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, let's be more brutal. Here is all of my powder blush. Um, I think this is the first thing I can say for sure, for sure can go. Although these are really pretty, I never reach for them. This was a special limited edition holiday incandescent strobe blush palette. I don't know how many years ago this was, but I just, I never reach for her. So I can put this in the discard. Let's talk about these other hourglass. This one right here is probably my fave look all right we don't have any of the marbled ones in here this is a cut down of the original unlocked love 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 um the only thing i wish this was a slightly lighter powder but i love the colors in here and when i use this beautiful ethereal look she's staying this is ambient unlocked number three i'm gonna save it just to use this this is my favorite ambient lighting powder in diffuse light the rest of them are nice but once i hit pan on this i might decide if we need to hang on to the rest but love, love, love. I'm gonna hang on to it for this for now, but maybe I need to put it in my powders and not just in my blushes. Here's another one. This is the Ghost Edit. This one's from several years ago. As you can see, this shade in Diffuse Light, we're already getting down to the terracotta tile. I use it so much. And I feel like these blush shades are a little bit more in keeping with what I like. The highlight, and I can use both of the ambient lighting powders in here, and the bronzer is nice. So I'm gonna hang on to this one too. All right, things I know I can let go of for sure. <laughs> Although I love this for years, this right here is Desert Balm from The Balm. I don't think they make it anymore. I don't know. I loved the color. It's just, she's old, it's time to let her go. Other ones that I feel like I kept because I was sure I was going to use them, I just haven't. These were part of a Kathleen Lights collab. This one's the shade I Need Space. This one is called My Sun and Stars. It's such a pretty, really vibrant color, but I just haven't reached for these. Now, these are refillable. I don't know if I have any other pans that would fit these magnetic compacts. I might look. I'll probably get rid of the pans of color in here, and I might see if I can plop something else in here instead. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> All right, so this came in last year's you look like it's almost the same color as my skin. This is a blush from Surat Beauty, and I think it's just the wrong shade for me, but I don't know who this is for. This is the shade Duchesse. It's, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's slightly peachier, but I, you can't see it on me. Um, I think the formula is nice, but if you can't see it, she's not staying, bye-bye. Love my little Gucci blush. She's not going anywhere. This is Rosie Nude. That is staying. Another one that I know for sure is staying is this one from Make. This one's new. Um, I love this reusable, refillable packaging. It's just a magnet, holds it right in. Fabulous. Um, let's see, ooh, oh, love these guys. The RMS Redimension Hydra Powders. So this is Maiden's Blush. This is the one that I like fell in love with. Another one that is, guess what? You know, you can put something else in here when she's done. I love that. So Maiden's Blush is my fave, but I just got this one. This one right here is Pomegranate Fizz. And you see how they're slightly glowy? They look a little glowier on camera, but once you start getting in there with the blush, I've only used this one once, they just don't end up looking too highlighty. They're beauteous. Love these. These guys are staying. All right. <laughs> I have a total love affair with the Heaven's Glow Baked Blushes. This is the one in Venetian Rose. These powders from M Cosmetics are fabulous. They're baked, they're blurring. Here's a limited edition one in Cherub. I like this. If you like that really pretty pink, I don't even think they make this one anymore. So sorry to show it, but I love this. This is one of the prettiest kind of bright baby pink shades. I'm keeping this. This one here is in Rococo. It's kind of like a pretty nude shade. They all have a beautiful glow to them. This is probably my most used. This is the one in Baroque. It is probably the one where most people who don't have fair skin would be like, it's basically just the highlight, but on me, it's the most beautiful soft nude blush. Love, love, love. And the first one I ever got, I've had this one the longest and it is out of all of them the one that is the flattest, um, but this one right here is Golden Hour. And if you like a peachy blush that has a little bit of pink to it, this is beautiful. So these guys aren't going anywhere. They're my favorite type of kind of radiant blushes, which is why I like the ones from RMS so much. All right, ooh, 
This one's new, the Pure Nude Bake Blush. I've only used it once. This is the shade Berry Cheeky. I'm gonna hang on to this for now. So I have this mini of the shade Mood Exposure from Hourglass. It's a really nice formula. And I'm kind of torn here because this is the sort of blush that I like to wear when, no, I'm not gonna keep it. Okay, I was just thinking I have another blush that's similar to this. I don't like how small the pan is. I didn't wanna pay for a full size of these hourglass blushes. Um, I have one that I paid full size for right here. And I was just like, no, no, they're good, but they don't keep me coming back. The ambient lighting powder does, but these blushes, they're nice, but I, I don't, this is the only full size one I have. Um, this one here, I am gonna hang on to. This one is gorgeous. This one is called Diffused Heat. It's a really pretty, slightly glowy coral shade. This one is staying. All right, oh, my favorite shade of Charlotte Tilbury blush. This one here is Sex on Fire. Uh, I have used it so much, so much. I'm surprised. It actually has a small crack in the pan right through here, some of the edges, like used and abused. Love, love, love. Here's my dilemma. I know I'm keeping the new Pure Nude from Essence. This is just the regular, the blush. It's a matte blush, it's a powder blush. It's okay. This is one that I would probably declutter, but I feel like sometimes it's nice to have an, a really affordable, this is like a $3.99 blush, in my collection to recommend. If somebody is looking for a good product, and we can talk about formulation, we can talk about shade. I only have one of these, I'm not running out to get any more, but I think I'm gonna hang on to this just so I can have more options in my arsenal. If I wasn't doing YouTube, <laughs> she'd be gone. All right, this is a blush duo from Viseart. I, I don't know what to tell you about this. Uh, okay, this was the wrong shade. This one's too creamsicle and this one is too crazy. Um, they're really nice powders, but I, I don't know. I feel like maybe the colors weren't as accurate. I feel like I was getting more of this look where it looked more like soft and corally peachy on the um, photos on the internet. But these are like bright, bright, like orange, orange, and like almost like hot pinky orange. <laughs> and it's very similar in shade to the one from Danessa Myricks, but that one is so blurable and so blendable. This one, you have to be so careful. One dot of this in the wrong spot, boop, it's over. So I think I'm gonna let this one go. So um, yeah, I didn't even have it that long. Don't love it, don't need it. Here is one that is a dilemma for me. This is the Weightless Veil Blush Palette from Wayne Goss. This is um, rose coral rose or rosy coral. Anyway, I love the highlight in here. The blush, I never thought was anything spectacular, but I wanna hang on to this just for highlight. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna put it to the side, we're gonna think about it. But um, I really like a lot of Wayne's eye products. I love his lip products. And I feel like his bronzer is like my top shelf. This I'm gonna hang on to because that highlight really is pretty. Here is the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream Powder Blush. This is the one in She's That Girl. I really like this color, especially for spring. I like to lay this down um, on days that I'm doing just cream products. Sometimes I use this by itself. My favorite way though is to put this down and then tap a little bit of this over the top. And normally I go cream first then powder, but with Patrick's products, they're made to go powder and then cream. And it just a little bit of gloss that you get from this actually really makes it look beautiful in skin. Like you see how when it you touch it, you get kind of that sheen. Same thing on your skin. It looks so pretty and natural. I'm gonna hang on to this. I love these Divine Blushes from Pat McGrath. This is Nude Venus. This one has a little bit of gold shimmer to it, but it is a little bit warmer. My fave and the one I use incessantly is this one. This is the shade Flirtatious. This is the perfect, almost nothing blush. Like just enough, not too much. And this is the reason why I got rid of the one from Hourglass in that little teeny tiny container, because I knew I had this or basically the same shade. I like this formula better. The pan is bigger. It's not as old as the other one. Love, love, love. Hanging on to this. Do you remember these Cover FX Duo blushes? Um, really pretty. This one here I think is in Pink Dahlia. The truth is I haven't used it. And you get kind of a glowy blush here and a matte blush. It reminds me of a bar of soap. It literally feels like a bar of soap. Um, I am, I'm thinking I'm gonna let this go. I might actually ask my daughter if she wants it. She'd probably really like this. Um, the formula is great. Uh, I think the color is nice. I just have stuff like this already. I don't need any more of it. This is just sheer nostalgia. This is literally the exact shade of the first blush I ever had. This is from Clinique. 
look at this. This is mocha pink. Oh my goodness. And I think the reason I've kept it for so long is just that it's, it's nostalgia. This is one of those that I don't know if I'm holding on to it because it reminds me of like my first makeup experience when I was 14 years old. And this isn't the one from when I was 14. I repurchased this a couple years back. But um, I feel like the pop blushes are really nice, but this is this is a really soft, really pretty color, this mocha pink. I, I don't know. I think I can probably let it go. But boy, blast from the past. And this green kind of minty case here, this is so 1980s Clinique. This is just taking me back to my childhood. I remember when these Jouer blush duos came out, this is the one in Adore. Um, they're really, really pretty. And you know what? This is the shade that I use the most, but I feel like this is kind of similar. Maybe it's a little bit more nude than um, the Pat McGrath blush that I love so much in Flirtatious, but I haven't really been reaching for this. I think I can let this go. This is a cheek product that was from this holiday. This is part of their like train case. Um, and you know what's so funny? I actually really like this. Normally the, the makeup products, it's usually the lip products that I like or the occasional like eyeliner or mascara, but this like trio of blush, highlighter and bronzer is great, especially if I feel like I'm traveling or I'm doing my face fast. I love, I have a full size of this. I have a full size of this. It's the blush formula that I've never tried before. And actually it's really great. So I'm gonna hang on to this because on days that I wanna go quick, 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 or I wanna do a full face of Estee Lauder, this is great to have on hand. I'm keeping 20 and I'm getting rid of 10. Oh, I need to start doing better. These are all my highlight products. Some are powder, some are liquid. I'm gonna start right here. This is the Danessa Myricks Light Work One. Love this, this is staying. This is a product, it has a mixture of everything in it. This is from Salt New York. And um, a, we've got a trio of blushes in here, a highlight and a contour. I'm gonna hang on to this for now, but I need to remember to get back into this. This is great. Here's one I know for sure I can let go. This is a highlighter from uh, Lancome. I've had it for way too long. The dual finish highlighter, the lightest shade, bye-bye. So the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. Man, this is a, oh, I'm gonna put this to the side. I don't know about this yet. I feel like, although I really like this highlight and cookie, it's a little too blingy for me. Now that I'm getting older, it just brings out my texture. I think I'm gonna pass this along to my daughter. I'm gonna hang on to both of these. These are those new Silky Touch highlights from Rare. These are fabulous. I have Mesmerize and Enlighten. These guys are staying, they're amazing. I love the Sunscape highlighter from M Cosmetics. It's that same baked formula as their blushes. This one is in the lightest shade Clarity. That one's gonna stay. I kind of feel like, okay, this is their um, cushion highlight. This is the, what shade is this? This one's called Halo. Um, I feel like I wanna hang on to it if I ever wanna talk about the brand as a whole, but I don't love this. If you're gonna get a highlight from M, get this one. This one's, I don't know, don't love, don't love, but I'm gonna hang on to it for now, but more for like keeping track of brands and recommendations. I love the Auric Glow Lust. I have the shade Morganite, that is staying. I'm also keeping both of these. These are the Elevated Glow from Lisa Eldridge. I have the shade Pink Moon and uh, Cosmic Rose. This one's a little bit deeper. Pink Moon is the lightest shade. My favorite one is Crystal Nebula. I finished that one up, so I'll tell you, when I finish both of these, I'm repurchasing Crystal Nebula and that's my fave. Love these, this formula is beautiful, love, love, love. I love this product from Flower. This is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlight. I just wish it came like this. <laughs> Make the packaging smaller. I feel like Flower is doing a reboot of their products right now. Um, I don't know if they are gonna be making the packaging smaller, if they're getting rid of this and coming out with something new, but for the time being, I'm gonna hang on to this. Here's a product that they don't make anymore and I'm so sad. This was a holiday special that hung around for a while. This is the Bar of Gold palette from Charlotte Tilbury. You have a white, rose, and kind of like a deep gold here. Love these. I swish my brush over all of these and they're just fabulous. You can see that happens. This whole palette is mucky and gross. 
but I love. I don't know if Charlotte Tilbury still makes the original bar of gold, but that didn't make it through my last declutter in 2021. I didn't like the formula as much as these or the shade as much. So I'm gonna hang on to this. I love this, even though they don't make it anymore. Okay, here's one I know I can get rid of. This is from Odin's Eye. This is the Norns highlight. Okay, she was so pretty, so pretty. And has kind of like that squishy texture to it, but it is way too flaky on my 48 year old skin. This is one that although was fun and interesting, I kind of bought it because it had kind of like this, almost like this puzzle look to it where there was gold and areas pink and white and kind of squishy in formula. You can leave a dent in it, but no. This is definitely not for me. This has got to go. Here are two products that I've been hanging on to and I don't know why. These are the Artist Couture Diamond glow powders oh my goodness okay so this one here in illuminati is probably the one that i would get the most use out of um but this one here in purple dream i don't know this one just makes me like so happy so happy you know i'm swatching it maybe they're maybe it's time to let them go because like i'm like where is it <laughs> okay goodbye this is brand new from Danessa Myricks. This is the Vision Flush. I'm gonna hang on to this. This is the shade Tiara. That is staying. It's a liquid product. I also really have come to love this. This is the highlighter from Merit. This is, what is it called? The Highlighting Balm. This is the shade Kava. <gasps> stunning, stunning. At first I was like, it's too much, it's too wet. And the truth is, it was my application. I was swiping it directly on the skin. This is better when I rub my fingers over the top and pat it in. So hanging on to this love, love, love. Here's a dilemma. This is a beautiful pink highlighter, the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is rose gold. I remember picking this up because I heard Tati talking about it and it is so pretty and so highlighty, but I kind of feel like the one from Rare Beauty. I'm liking a little bit more. I think I'm gonna let this go. These two products, everybody says are the same, they are not. <laughs> All right, I feel like the formula of the one from uh, Charlotte Tilbury is more to my liking. It's a little bit more liquid, easier to blend, and you can put it on your skin and take your time blending it. This one here, you needs must blend it immediately. This is the Triple Beauty Luminizing Glow Wand from Beauty Pie. Um, they have that same kind of cushion applicator thing, which I don't like because look how messy and gunky it gets, like yuck. They are both like this. Um, I'm almost done with the one from Charlotte, but I would be willing to pay the 40 what dollars to get another one of these. The other reason I don't think these are the same is this is the shade Spotlight. Charlotte comes in multiple shades. Guess what? This one comes in one, and this one is too dark for my skin tone. I can never get it to work. I'm gonna let somebody else love this. Now, if you have a light or medium skin tone and you aren't fair, this will probably work fabulously for you. And it is much less expensive. I don't think the formula is as elegant. Packaging is a disastrous mess between the two. So keeping Charlotte and letting Beauty Pie go. Another one I'm gonna let go is this. I haven't reached for this Hourglass product in forever. This is their Vanish Highlighting Stick and this is the Champagne Shade. You know, I haven't used it, don't love it. Bye-bye. This is one of my favorite highlights. This is the Living Luminizer from RMS. <gasps> oh, love. This one is not going anywhere. Um, but this is a beautiful, very natural looking cream highlight if that's what you're into. I love the Super Shock highlights from um, ColourPop. I think it's one of their best products. There's so much ColourPop I don't really have time or attention for anymore, but this is definitely one of them. And these are the three shades that I find myself using. This is one is in glazed. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I haven't used this one, but the ones that I actually have pan on, I know I'm keeping. Um, this right here is Flexitarian, and this one is Stole the Show. And I think if I had to repurchase one, it would be Stole the Show. So I'm gonna keep both of these and try and work through them this year. But these are gorgeous, very easy to blend, creamy, bouncy products and they're not expensive. And if you see them at Target or you see them at Ulta, they're definitely worth your time if you like a pretty highlight. I find that Flexitarian is definitely more blingy. Soul the Show is really pretty on more mature skin, but it's a more subtle glow. Here's a product I don't understand. This is the Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlighter Stick. I have the shade Lit, which is the lightest shade. It's kind of like an opalescent shade. And it's one of those, you can see kind of like this bluish shift on my fingers. I like the way it looks on the cheeks, but it never dries down. So, um, I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna hang on to it for now because I paid a pretty penny for her, but I need to figure out how to use this where I love it and I'm not always getting my hair stuck in my face because it's a very, very creamy emollient product. This Pat McGrath highlighter is in Golden Nectar. It's a little deep for my skin tone, but if I put it over a blush, she's gorgeous. I think I'm gonna hang on to this. Here's one I've had for forever and I'm probably gonna let go of. This is Rodeo Drive from Ofra. I really do like this formula, but I just haven't reached for this in forever. And of course, this is like the super old packaging, so I think I can let this one go. Another Ofra highlight that has been through the mill. You can see I repress this one. It broke and I'm like, no. This is the Nikki Tutorials Trio. This is the shade right here that I love. This and this mixed together makes the most beautiful highlight. This shade here is just too much. I used to use it as eyeshadow, but the truth is I haven't reached for it in a long time. It was these two together that I loved, but mm, I think it might be time to let this one go too. Oh my goodness, how old is this? This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, what is this one, So Hollywood. <gasps> She's probably as expired as expired could be. Wow, boy, but that does have like a, a, a feeling, a throwback to it. I think it's time to let her go though. Here is another Anastasia one. Like, come on, do you not get all the feels when you see this? This one is, oh, but it's so pretty. And it still looks so, I don't know. I don't know that I can let Amrezy go. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm, I'm gonna put it in the think about it pile. Because part of me is like, she's old, she's got to go. And the other part of me is like, but no. So this is going in the think about it pile. Here's one that I picked up recently. This is from Beauty Pie. This is the Triple Beauty Perfect Glow Powder. I like this one so much better than the Triple Beauty Glow Wand. This is a no, this is a yes. And this, this one comes in the shade Glow 10. I wonder, do they have a deeper shade of this? I don't know but it's just glowy enough. It's not too golden. It's definitely more champagne. And for a fair person, this is my perfect shade. So this right here is from Estee Lauder. This is the Bronze Goddess. This is the shade Heat Wave. Oh my goodness. I love this one. I know she's old, but this baked gelée formula is stunning. I think I'm gonna hang on to this. Here's one that's still kind of new to my collection and I, uh, I'm not in love with it. I'm trying to be, this is the House Labs, whatever it is, Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlight. This is the shade Sunstone. Okay, it's a pretty shade. I I don't know, so many people love this and I'm like, it's okay. I And I, I'm gonna keep it to see if I can fall in love with it because sometimes it just takes like repeated use, but yeah. I'll hang on to it now. Love the packaging though. The packaging is fabulous. I really like this powder, especially in the summer from Essence. This is the Kissed by the Light. This is an illuminating powder. What's great about this is that it, this is not overspray. This is actually like a blush, actually like a bronzer and highlight in the middle. And if you want highlight, you can just hit this portion of the pan here. But if you swirl it all together, you have a no fuss one cheek color. Love this, super affordable. This is a great product. One of my favorite drugstore glowy blushes. Last one in here is the Dior Skin Nude Glow. Um, this is the lightest shade in 01. This is really pretty, but I just don't reach for it. I'm sure there's somebody else in my life who would really love this. Um, I think I can let this one go. I'm keeping 22 and I'm getting rid of 14. I think that's better than my blushes. Here's the last of it, my bronzers. I have really fallen in love with bronzer. I remember there was a time when I never had a bronzer because I felt like I was gonna turn into an Oompa Loompa and be nothing but orange. But boy, bronzers have come a long way. I'm gonna hang on to this. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand. I am nearly done with it. I love this formula. I definitely prefer it over the Beauty Pie Quickie Color Contour Super Gel. This one's not bad. They, they did recently, relaunched this day. This was gone for quite a while and I don't know if it was due to um, maybe ingredients that weren't available or they were reformulating, but I'm almost done with this one, but I, I don't need this one. This one can go in the discard. I love this one. The Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. This is shade number two. Such a great one. Here's one I'm on the fence about. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Bronzer. I love the formula, but this shade number one is the lightest shade. The problem I'm having with it is that it reads really yellow. I look like I have malaria or jaundice, like I, I look ill. 
Um, so maybe I need shade number two. Maybe I can declutter this shade and put a refill of number two in here. Let's, let's plan on doing that. But I do love this. And this is the same brand and the lightest shade, but this is actually really good and it's not yellow at all. This is the Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. Uh, one fair, so good. Love this. Need to get into this more for sure. The reason I haven't been is because it's so big, it sits in a drawer and I forget about it, but love. Talk about an oldie but a goodie. This is Hula Light. I'm almost done with this. I feel like if I just hang on to it and try and pan it, I don't know that it's worth it. Maybe it's just okay to let it go. I feel like I got rid of all of the other um, Benefit boxed blushes. I love this formula. I really, really like this color, but I think I'm done with this. This Power Bronzer from Danessa Myricks is one that I wanted to love and I just never really did. Um, it's really very easy to move around in the pan. It's a cream product, but I'll tell you what I love more than anything is the texture of her Yummy Skin Blurring Balm. Maybe what I need to do is to get a shade of the blurring balm that I could use as a bronzer because that new blush in that formula is great. This right here is not really doing it for me. I'm gonna let this go. Love this so much. This is so good. So the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer, I have the lightest shade in 200 pale. I will tell you, if this was not in this drugstore packaging, I would swear this was Charlotte Tilbury. This is such a beautiful formula. It's smooth, it's creamy, and for fair, it's skin, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It gives bronze without being too much. Love this. This isn't going anywhere. Remember how I told you I love the So Soft blushes? The same is true with these bronzers. I have one that is a bronzer. This is Summer and this is Tara. Tara is the contour, Summer is the bronzer. Love, love, love. And these aren't going anywhere. Here's another one from M that I really enjoy. This is the Corselet Sculpting Bronzer. This is the lightest shade in Slip. This formula is really pretty. I feel like this is one of those that if you like a matte bronzer that doesn't end up looking too dry or powdery, you would really like this. And this is kind of perfect if you like to do more of the bronzing where you do a little contouring with your bronzer. This is a great one because it's not too warm and it's not too cool. Oh, take home the bronze from the balm. I've had this forever. I've been trying to finish it, but do you see how the product, I don't know, I feel, feel like it's done this for a long time. It has this kind of pebbled look to it. I think part of it is just the way the product is, but I don't, I don't have to keep this one anymore. This one is in the shade Oliver, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be done with this. I love this. This is the Radiance Boosting Face Palette from Wayne Goss. This comes in the shade Light Gold. The bronzer does look a little on the orange side, but it's not. It's warm and it has a little bit of gold shift to it. It's so pretty. And this is a matte contour that I really, really love. If I'm using powder, bronzer, and contour, this is the first one I think of, the first one I reach for. Ooh, an oldie, but a goldie. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. This is probably one of the most iconic Charlotte Tilbury products. I really feel like this is a really great, great, this is the light version, by the way. The formula is beautiful. The highlight is not too much. The bronze is not too much. It's just so pretty. I've had it for a long time though, mm, but I don't think I can get rid of it. Okay, we're hanging on to this. Here is the Patrick Ta Cream Bronzer Duo, and this is a great product. I love that he puts these little plastic windows to make sure nothing gets in the creams, but we have a contouring cream and a warmer bronzer. I love this formula. It is so, so good. Um, I wish his like foundation and powder had been as good as this is because the blushes and the bronzers are beautiful. This is the lightest shade. This is in She's Statuesque. This is staying. This Victoria Beckham um, bronzing brick, this is the lightest shade in One Fair. I really, I like this, but I will tell you, if I had to pick between this and the one from Wayne Goss, I would definitely go the Wayne Goss. I feel like I get a little bit more bronze out of it, but I feel like the shades are pretty similar on the contour over here, but this is a beautiful product. I like that it's refillable. This is staying. This Viseart bronzer is one that I always wanted to love and I never love it the way it needed to be loved. I don't know. Let me show you. All right. I think a lot of it is there was some hard pan developing and I think it's easier to see like right down here in this area 
this just never it I feel like it's really firmly pressed and for as lovely as the eyeshadows are and as beautiful and blendable as the eyeshadows are this just was not this and the blush man these never worked for me the way that I wanted them to so this is gonna go I could not stop reaching for this in 2022. This is the Beauty Pie Awesome Bronze. Mine has completely lost the impression in the pan except for like around the edges. This is beautiful. This is also, look, a refillable compact. I have the shade Sunnyside, which is the lightest, but it pops in and it's really nice packaging. It really reminds me of the one from Make. They look very similar, um, but this is a fabulous product. And because it is refillable, I really am into that. But this is one of those, if you like a more radiant bronzer, this has a little touch of radiance to it with some warmth. And if you like a bronzer only look in the summertime, this is great for that. I'm gonna hang on to the Make Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Bronzer as well. This is the shade Lunar. It's a little bit darker. They do have one shade lighter, but what's great about this, this is a buildable bronze. It's not too heavy. It's not too much. I really like it. And again, Come on, refillable, more of that please, love. I have always loved this Fenty bronzer. This one is in, um, what is this, Into Sun. This is the Sun Stalker bronzer. This is the lightest one. This is a beautiful formula. I've been wanting to try the cream formula. I just haven't got around to it. I like the cream in the um, blush, but I haven't tried anything else. But this is a great, great formula. If you like Fenty products, you probably already know all about this. This is fabulous. All right, I can't keep everything, but I kind of want to. All right, I'm definitely keeping this. This is the Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. This one is in Power Boost. Um, this is still fairly new to my collection. I'm gonna hang on to this because, well, we're not that familiar with it yet. I love the Merit Cream Bronzer. This is so good. I'm surprised mine is not ooier and gooier but this is a really great product. I feel like this is fantastic. This balm bronze, it's just a moly enough without being too gooey. This is sticking around. I have the glossy solar paint here. This is the lightest shade in Flare. This is what I wish all of those Charlotte Tilbury and Charlotte Tilbury wannabe products would be. You know, it's in a squeezy tube. It has a doe foot so much easier than all of those cushion tips that have like products like this. I hate these because on the inside they get to be a gross disaster. Some other ones are worse. Let me show you this one. Ugh. Charlotte, let's do it this way. I promise you it's it's school, still cool. It's in a squeezy tube. It has a cap on it, but the, the doe foot makes everything easier. I like this formula. I'm gonna hang on to this. And I think the last one here, the Wonder Stick from NYX, I think I'm gonna let this go. This is the contour and the highlight, the lightest shade. So one side is highlight, one side is contour. And in this lighting, it's hard to tell which, but this is the contour and this is the highlight. I'll just tell you, although this is a nice product, and I definitely would recommend it if you're looking for affordable cream products from the drugstore. I just realized I don't reach for it that much and I have already decluttered the um, blush wonder stick. So I, I think maybe, I don't know, NYX has never really found a big place in my collection. I've never been a huge NYX fan. So I think I can let this one go. So I'm keeping these 17 and getting rid of these seven. Oh, I should have been better. But these are really the ones that I'm not using. All right, here are all of my declutters. I could have been a little bit more brutal, but the truth is, mm, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna keep what I have so far. I feel like this is a really good place to start. And if I find as you know time goes by this year, I'm not gonna wait to do a full declutter. I'll just say, you know what? I'm not using this. Let's find a new home for it. So here are the blushes, cream blushes here and powder blushes here. And underneath, I have my highlights and my bronzers. Okay, here's where I want to remind you that nobody needs this much makeup. Like, this is way too much. This is because I have a YouTube channel. And I like to be able to try what's new. Um, I have an intense curiosity, but I also have a beauty budget. Um, and if you're the sort of person who holds on to a product because you paid for it, but you find that you don't use it, you've got a couple of options. First of all, watch a lot of reviews and think about what might actually fit well into the type of makeup routine you're used to. And if it doesn't work for you, take it back. 
the hard part about making returns, like Sephora takes returns, Ulta takes returns, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, like every place you can buy makeup, most of the time you can make a return. The hard part about returns is that once it gets returned, it just becomes waste. So that's when you have to carefully decide and really take your time, is it really going to work for me? Because nobody needs a giant bin of stuff they're not going to use. Um, and remember that this sort of a makeup collection is for somebody who has a YouTube channel. I would love to know how you handle your makeup collection. Do you use stuff down to the very bottom because you paid for it? Do you get rid of it when you don't like it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again soon.